Beyond our borders now, and with three days left to the November 5th U.S. elections, Republican candidate and former President Donald Trump and Democrat candidate Vice President Kamala Harris have been on the campaign trail in Michigan and Wisconsin in what is predicted to be a tight race between the two candidates. Early voting has been underway in America with the main election day set for Tuesday. Bridget Ngana has more. And it's time we stand and say at a rally in Michigan, Trump spoke boldly of his vision to revive the automobile, steel, and iron industries, protecting American manufacturing companies that have since been outsourcing cheap labor abroad. I will never apologize for defending America. I will protect our workers. I will protect our jobs. I will protect our borders. I will protect our families. And I will protect the birthright of our children to live in the richest and most powerful nation on the face of the earth again. Trump is seeking to reclaim the seat he lost in 2020 to outgoing President Joe Biden. He says Biden and his deputy Kamala Harris are joined at the hip and a vote for her would be a vote to continue what he calls failed policies. On Tuesday you have to stand up and you have to tell Kamala that you've had enough. You can't take it anymore. You're the worst vice president in history. You're the worst borders are in the history of the world. We're not going to let you destroy our country. Kamala, you're fired. Get the hell out of here. Vice President Harris, meanwhile, took her campaigns to Wisconsin, another battleground state. She described former President Trump as insincere in his pledge to the American workers committing to improve the workers' welfare. And at the top of my list is bringing down the cost of living for you. That will be my focus every single day as president, including I will give a middle class tax cut to over 100 million Americans. Democrats have been quick to term former President Trump as vindictive following his attacks on former Republican lawmaker Liz Cheney for supporting a Democrat presidential candidate. More than 66 million people have already cast their vote, beating the early voter turnout record set in 2020. Bridget's Ghana, NTV. Thank you very much, Bridget. And from the United